Last week, Newsnight revealed a problem in Westminster, an issue with the so-called clerks, the apolitical workforce who make the House of Commons tick. They say they face bullying and harassment by MPs, and serving clerks don't trust management processes to protect them, in large part because, in serious cases, MPs can be involved in judging one another. Management have told us to report stuff, but I think if I raised something, I'd be moved. In all my time here, I haven't seen one case go against a member. The response we got from the Commons authorities was pretty dismissive. For example, we told you about how one serving clerk had told us that she felt she lived in a culture of fear. The House authorities said that was a grotesque exaggeration. Today, though, we reported on a new development. This morning, we got hold of a letter from David Natzler, the clerk of the House of Commons, completely changing his position. This letter was sent out to the House of Commons clerks. Some of you have expressed to me and to others your dismay at the tone of our statement to Newsnight and the subsequent email that we sent to you on Friday morning. I acknowledge we got it wrong in giving the impression we were in denial. There is no doubt in my mind there are unresolved issues of a bullying and harassment which need to be addressed. The public testimony of colleagues confirms that. The senior management of the House are acknowledging they got the tone of their response to Newsnight's reporting last week wrong. They're acknowledging that there is a problem with bullying and harassment in the House of Commons and that the policy that's in place to deal with that isn't adequate and that it needs to be looked at again. The letter was seen as a step forwards, but we gathered testimony revealing continuing concerns among serving clerks. He makes no apology or commitment to victims of historic harassment that their cases will be re-examined using any new improved respect policy. I don't think the House should get to decide that this is year zero, especially as the House's mishandling of harassment cases and a toxic culture from management was a big part of the problem. I have every reason to believe he is sincere. The problem is that, however elevated his position, David Natzler neither has the power to ensure that all allegations of bullying and harassment are dealt with independently and impartially, nor does he have the ability to ensure that appropriate sanctions are imposed on the small number of members who mistreat staff. Well, um, the people who have that exactly power right. are MPs. They met today to discuss our reporting. We revealed last week that John Burko is accused of bullying. He denies it and he chaired today's session. The House Commission next meets on Monday the 19th of March, next Monday, and I have given notice to my fellow members that I will be recommending a short, independently led inquiry by the House Commission looking into allegations of systemic bullying of parliamentary staff. I will propose that the inquiry should hear from past and current staff members about their experiences and help to provide them with closure wherever possible. It's not clear whether this inquiry will name troublesome MPs or just discuss culture. That will be for the House of Commons Commission to decide next week. A panel chaired by John Burko. Some MPs today were concerned about overreaction. Here's Paul Farrelly, who denied allegations of bullying last week. Honourable members, before they jump to judgment after what was a very one-sided, selective BBC broadcast, that they approach uh, the cases that have been raised in a more balanced way. A consensus has emerged that something must be done, and the inquiry should help decide what. Clerks will not be left out of efforts to reform Westminster. But one thing's clear. Any system where MPs still make decisions on sanctioning MPs will not have the support of staff.